Greetings, everyone. We're back from the White Mountains of Arizona. We got Tara here. And we're going <laughs> to do another spiritual walk and chat. And we're yeah. just going to walk around. We're going to start at our driveway today. Actually, the snow is melting, and I'm excited about this. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's the last snow of the season. Yeah. I think we're a little snowed out. Yeah, I mean, snow is pretty. It's great. You know, I like working with the elements and nature and all of that, but I love the sun. I love being outdoors in the sun, and I don't like having to be all bundled and covered up and frozen in the sun. Like, <laughs> Yeah, That's so kind of helped to me. So <laughs> one thing that helped us was sitting out in the sun and doing a channeling. Yes. Of what was it? I mean, I don't, still don't know. Um, kind of hard to describe. So this, okay. So we were talking about the Ukraine situation. We wanted to know, like, what everybody's got their own thoughts and opinions, and the news will tell you some things or whatever. But we're like, what's happening? Uh, and this entity showed up, and it was kind of weird. It was like two entities. But the tops of their heads were stuck together and their hands, like their fingertips just bled into each other. So they, they formed kind of like a triangle like that. And so when one spoke, the other continued speaking. It's like they spoke as one unit. Um, and they were a negative polarity. And normally I have told people before, I don't like having negative polarities in my space. Like normally I'll just let my higher self talk. But it was like, we're negative polarity. You called us. Like, you, you said you wanted some information, you know, and we know all about what the negative polarities are doing because we're a negative polarity. They're like, don't worry. We don't want your energy. We don't want your body. We can, like, give a crap about, yeah. <laughs> about you. But you want some information? We got information. And I was like, oh, all right. I so think it's it weird. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important to judge people not on who they are or where they come from, but what they're saying. Because uh, you're always going to pass whatever information you get through your higher self, through your filter, through your third eye. Uh, so, you know, taking the information and don't believe it right away. You got to check it with yourself at the very least. Then you can check it in 3D, use the internet or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not so much who they are, it's what they're saying. Is it correct information or is it not? I think that was kind of one takeaway from the video. Yeah, and I, I got that... Uh... You know, they obviously had ego of, of their own. Oh, wow, it's it's very muddy here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I well, got go bricks to, for shoes. Yeah, go to the snow. Okay, hold on here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was... Follow me. There's still, I mean, we can't deny the negative polarity. There's a lot to learn from them too because everything's made up of polarity so why not try to understand all the polarity <laughs> you know so that we can understand ourselves better and i think that's kind of what it was trying to show like if you block us out you block out your own negative polarity right you know? I, and how does that help you i didn't like the tone though okay yeah they had a shitty tone <laughs> Well, I mean, it's easy to think what they think when you're in 4D. I mean, obviously, that's their perception. And then they're a negative polarity, so they're not going to be gentle with us. Yeah. But I, I like to give back what I get <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. It, they kind of had a, like, a roll their eyes kind of thing. Like, oh, you guys are so simple. You guys are so, <laughs> like, 3D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bunny tracks. It really felt hey. like um, they had been watching a season... 270 million of earth and we were asking about the next episode and they're like all right we'll tell you we'll tell you what happens next week but uh that's as far as we're gonna explain it it's how i yeah. felt always uh reading the walking dead comment comics <laughs> which was miles ahead of the show knowing everything that's going to happen in this show that everyone's watching and loving and not being able to say a word <laughs> yeah it was it was yeah that was basically it because they said they've already done all this stuff they're like, we know what's happening because we did it to people like you. <laughs> like, <laughs> How nice. But, you know, I appreciate them even taking the time to explain anything to us. You know? Yeah. They probably they, got they busy 4D lies. To. Yeah. They could have. Somebody else could have come through, but they decided, hey, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that all you want to say about these guys? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, you guys definitely, wow, whoops, wrong turn. <laughs> you guys definitely watch it and then 
you know, put your own your own thought into it, your own comments, you know, uh, your own meditation. What did, what did you get? What did you get when you tap into all of this stuff? Because we want to create discussion. We're not here to say, okay, I channeled this. It's a hundred percent. That's just the way it is. And there's no other point of view. <laughs> right. Cause I literally only channeled one entity. How many entities and how many universes are there? You know? So you guys definitely chime in. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the bunnies. It's a, it's a bunny freeway. Uh, so what else has been happening this week? You've been talking to these things, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. What's so this? see if we can find... Yeah, this is a little bit of twist on here. Oh, this one's as... got... Tw oh, yeah, yeah. This one's probably a little twisty. Not as bad. Not as bad. Oh, here we go. This one's twisty. Right oh, yeah. Show them okay. the Okay. So... Maybe we'll put a card for the twisty trees. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... As you can see, we have a lot of trees around here. Some of them look normal, like the tree behind it. Some of them are gnarled, like this tree. Some of them are super twisted. And so um, I've, I've obviously, you know, I, I did a channeling of the twisty trees, but there was one tree we came across um, kind of over where the, what do you call it, our dried up lake over over there somewhere <laughs> over there somewhere Not a big deal. Um, and there was this tree on the ledge and it was super super twisted oh it is a big deal and yeah. and i i you know when a tree stands out to me it means it wants to talk so i was you know find a way to touch the tree like what do you have to say which by the way you guys should totally do that if there's a tree you're like wow that's yeah. amazing touch it tap in it's got a story say hello. <laughs> but um I was like, how, how are you so twisted, you know, by the energy here? Like, shouldn't you be the most grounded because you're literally a tree? Um, and it's saying, you know, not all trees are grounded, you know, just because they have physical roots. They're just like anything else. Things can get ungrounded. And so if it's so wrapped up with all the energy that's around it, not just like the physical land. Well, like, you touched it and tapped into it and yeah. found out that what? That it was like, it was showing me, I could, first I felt rushing water. I heard rushing water. And it was that the, the energy of the water kind of was. Right, it's all dry now. But making it swirl up. These trees are twisted. what, 800,000? It was like an eight or 900 year old tree. All right, so back in the day, this tree was on the bank of a river with flowing water. Already the energy here is all twisted. So this water's energy is twisted. And now it's rushing. And this tree's on the bank, its right. roots presumably touching the water and so it just twisted the tree got it all ungrounded yeah and it showed me this um like native american lady just kind of like squatted by there she had this huge like yucca basket and it, it was so much water that season and it was rushing so hard that fish are literally just kind of jumping out of the the river you know and she could easily catch them and she's trying to keep her one child from getting too close because they could get swept away she had another kid on her back and it was like just showing how powerful it was. And the tree was like getting so ungrounded by everything. It was literally physically getting twisted up in 3D. And it was like, and if you don't ground yourself, yeah. you get twisted too. Exactly. That's the <laughs> message. If it can happen to a tree with roots, what's going to happen to you and your little toes? Yeah. So it says you can have physical roots, but you have to make sure that your energetic roots are solid. Right. right. So cool yeah so was, speaking of cool. yeah speaking of native americans uh who who have you been uh tapping into recently what's been going on there okay well first of all coyote tracks i just stepped all over them <laughs> there's coyotes and and uh, rabbits here hopefully the rabbit got away anyway <laughs> um you guys got to see the anna channeling that was the one that was called a uh, channeling 400 year old navajo spirit um put a card yeah i will <laughs> so you guys go check it out um and anna you know i've asked her you know can we channel you some more people really liked her energy they really loved what she had to say and i love her energy too i connect to her all the time but for her it was like nope like i said what i had to say like i'm not really for the lime not light you know <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like i'll done. still connect to you but i don't need to connect to the masses um so then i was like well, is there anybody here? Because I, I would love to channel the energies here. They, they have so much to say. And there's one energy that stepped forward that was like, heck yeah, I'll do some talking. <laughs> He's like, I don't mind, I don't mind the public. Uh, and his name is Mika, which I looked it up 
actually means rabbit in Navajo. <laughs> so <laughs> there, look where you're standing. Oh, dude, it's our portal. Ah! This is what the first portal we uh, yeah. identified. Yeah, and oh my gosh, you guys, check out the twisty. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with twisted energy. Like here, uh, the tree over here is all kinds of twisted up. And this doesn't happen to every tree on the property, only where there's very intense uh, energetic portals or areas. And this particular area is an animal portal. So the animals physically use this um, to kind of transport themselves wherever it is they need to go faster. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. If you guys like we ever create a retreat and you guys come here and you just like stand here you start and you get into a meditation you kind of start swirling like yep. it's pretty awesome <laughs> <laughs> all right well wrap it up what did you want to say about uh Mika? so Mika is uh, he's um he always comes to me with like a he's got like a wolf hide headdress thing and he connects um greatly with the wolf because the wolf taught him a, a lot about his ego and fear and He's like, I have so much to share. He says, because he was a human at one point and uh, he's connected to the land, but he, his spirit did ascend already. So it's just his fragment that's here. It's a mixture of his higher self and his ego, just like Anna. So um, yeah, expect to be hearing from Mika soon. And uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, I actually channeled him with my Patreon group. So uh, my and my patreon homies I already got to meet him <laughs> look at that making new friends up here yeah <laughs> all right well uh that's gonna do it for our walk and chat we've traipsed through these woods long enough yeah. um so thank you guys for watching the channeling videos we really do appreciate all the interactions and the comments and uh if you want to hear us talk about any specific topics comment section let us know look at that view we want to walk to that cliff again don't we we do we will. So I, lo <laughs> I really love that kind of, that hike we did where I was actually climbing boulders and stuff like that. It's my jam. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, like we're, this is actually kind of dangerous and awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll get more peanut butter for that jam. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, signing off. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.